DJ Marfori, and this is Celebrity Top 10. We give you the latest, the juiciest, and the hottest entertainment news, mapa local man or international. Yeah, I'm gonna dami sa inyo because here's a countdown you shouldn't miss the new normal you can't resist. Come on, let's start with number 10. Well, 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 for number 10, we're going to talk about Kylie Jenner welcoming a baby boy. Ding, ding, ding. In fairness, nasa number 10 siya, pero hindi siya as ingay as before. Well, we do know that's because of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West who had a public feud, right? Yeah. Yeah. And of course, some of the fans were even really doing the math on whether she, when she gave birth or when the baby was conceived. But anyway, congratulations to Kylie and Travis Scott for welcoming their second child together. Ding, ding, ding. Stormy is now a big sister to her baby brother as Kylie posted a photo of her holding a baby's hand with a blue heart emoji on caption. The reality star confirmed her pregnancy a few months ago but did not reveal the gender yet. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, one more baby bump. And baby news. <laughs> Rihanna shares new baby bump photo. Ding, ding, ding. After news that Rihanna is pregnant with rapper ASAP Rocky, Riri offered another glimpse of her pregnancy. <laughs> she recently posted on Instagram a photo of her baby bump taken in the bathroom and no announcement for her due date or when she will conceive. But Rihanna and ASAP Rocky are confirmed to be in a relationship since 2021, they went official, but they're longtime friends. <laughs> Kate Blanchett is the first inaugural international Goya awardee. Ding, ding, ding. What does this mean? So she is set to make history as she will be the first recipient of the international Goya award, as announced by the Spanish Film Academy. <laughs> The award honors artists that have contributed to cinema as a medium that brings together different cultures and people. Ding, ding, ding. Further, the Spanish Film Academy described the actress as an extraordinary figure of global cinema and an actress of unforgettable characters, which are part of our memory and our present. The awarding ceremony happens on Feb 12. Now Kate already has two Oscars and three BAFTAs under her belt. Her recent project are Nightmare Alley and Don't Look Up Where She Was Hilarious. Anyway, guys, number seven. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Euphoria renewed for season three. HBO did renew the, well, the scandalous lives of Euphoria High students. And the HBO series is about the high schooler, Rue, played by Zendaya, who looks for hope while balancing love, loss, and addiction. Aside from being a certified raider for both HBO and Max, well, Euphoria won three Emmy Awards, including an outstanding lead actress for Zendaya. Season 2 is currently on track, while Season 3 production is yet to be announced. <laughs> Big Bang will be releasing music after four years. Ding, ding, ding. YG Entertainment announced that Big Bang is back and making music after four years. The hit K-pop group will be releasing a new song this spring, according to a Soompi report. Aside from the song, the group is already preparing to shoot their music video. It was 2018 since Big Bang last released a digital single called Flower Road. And YG Entertainment also announced that T.O.P., will be leaving the agency after 16 years. But as long as the conditions are right, he will participate in activities with Big Bang. So prior to this, guys, Soongri has left the group and announced his retirement in 2019. But he did get involved in sexual allegations. <laughs> yes, so of course, before we move on, we're 4.15 p.m. on One News with three plays at 10 on 1 p.h. I'm going to say hi to the all in <laughs> OMJ supporters and of course guys thank you so much for always joining us happy birthday to my brother JL yes I'm MJ Marfori he's JM Marfori so anyway guys just going back to this you can also catch celebrity top 10 on one news.ph and halfway on the show 
Yuna and Don are engaged. K-pop stars Yuna and Don reveal that they are engaged. The couple posted photos of their sweet moments as Don asked Yuna to marry him. The two started dating back in 2016, but admitted that they were already boyfriend-girlfriend, you know, since earlier on. It has indeed been a fight for love because their former talent agency dropped them after they confirmed their relationship. <laughs> the couple remained strong and signed a contract with P Nation, founded by Psy. They both released individual albums and held joint media conferences to promote it. You know, as a former member of Wonder Girls and four minute while Dawn was from Pentagon. Congratulations. <laughs> Big things are looking up for Madame Inots. <laughs> She joins a movie with Piolo Pascual. Yeah. Hit online personality and live seller Madame Inuts is finally entering the acting world. Ding, ding, ding. Fresh from joining Pinoy Big Brother Community Season 10 Celebrity Edition, Madame is currently in a lock and taping for a movie with Piolo Pascual and Angelica Panganiban. Joining them are Pepe Herrera, Frenchie D, and Katya Santos. So Madame Inuts can't help but, you know, be on fan mode when she took photos for the co stars. The project is, of course, yet to be released, but we're going to talk about this. <laughs> Luis de los Reyes, one of, I, I, in my opinion, underrated actresses that we have. She's very, very good. A lot of her fans know that. I do hope that people will find out soon. But yes, she will indeed have another project with Viva Max, which is steamy. And that is called The Wife. Yup, it's going to be with Diego Loizaga and Cara Gonzalez. So the story revolves around the soft-spoken wife, Mara, whose husband, Chris, played by Diego, had an affair with ex-girlfriend, Lee, played by Cara. We did talk to Luis about the film, and here's what she said. So nag-start kami mag-shoot ng The Wife noong December, before Christmas lang. Uh-huh. And yung story niya is about... Um, infidelity and kung paano magko-coexist ang dalawang babae sa buhay ng iisang lalaki and kung napanood yung trailer may ano may maraming factors na involved dun sa sa buong relationship all right yes we're going to talk about the filipina actress who joined the cast of all of us are dead ding, ding, ding. The hit Netflix series All of Us Are Dead continues to be the talk of the town more than a week after its premiere. But do you know that a Filipina actress played one of the students in Yosan High School? Ding, ding, ding. Yes, her name is Noreen Joyce Guerra, which was seen in episode one wherein she crossed a pedestrian with Park Ji Hoo and Chan Young Jun. She was a classmate of the villain Gui Nam, played by Yu and Su. Noreen went, of course, to Korea. And she was a student back in 2015 with a master's in business administration. She's now a manager of a financial company, but that doesn't stop her from doing acting stints in a lot of Korean dramas already. <laughs> yup, na hospital playlist na siya, Encounter, and The King Eternal Monarch. So here's what she said about being part of the hit zombie series. Ding, ding, ding. Thankful po ako sa mga tao na kilala sa akin that I was part of the All of Us Are Dead. Kasi, ayun nga, I was a Korean student yung role ko. So, hindi ko in-expect na makikilala ako ng mga tao sa Filipino student. So, ayun, ano, thank, thankful and happy. <laughs> yes, and eto na, number one. <laughs> Oscar nominations to be announced. The much-awaited announcement of the nominees for the Academy Awards will happen in a few hours. Yeah! Hosted by Tracy Lee, Ellis Ross, and Leslie Jordan, the announcement will go live on YouTube and Facebook of the Academy. After a lot of surprises from other award-giving bodies, fans are finally expecting big names and their expected front runners in different categories to be included in the list. The most interesting are... The best actress, director, picture, best actor. Now, well, who will make the cut? That is our question. But indeed, congratulations to all of those who will be nominated. Before we end, everybody, of course, please stay safe from COVID. Wear a mask, disinfect, practice social distancing, get boosted already, and get your kids vaccinated as well. 
I'm MJ Marfori. We are 4 15 p.m. on one news with replays at 10 on 1 pH. You can follow me on my social this MJ Marfori all across on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook with a blue check. So I'll see you guys there. I talk to the DMs, the people who DMs as much as I could. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm MJ Marfori. I'll see you tomorrow. This is Celebrity Top 10. Ta ta. Hey.